like everyone else, have had to change our plans in 2020. We began the year thinking that we were going to be celebrating our 75th anniversary of serving older adults, and we had to adjust like everyone else did. So we had to postpone and cancel many of our celebrations, but it doesn't keep us from celebrating every single day, getting out and talking with everyone and seeing what they're doing and the joy they have in doing it is phenomenal. This year, 2020, we are celebrating the 75th anniversary of Walker Methodist. And I have really tried to focus on gratitude this year, especially. One of the things I find myself doing is flipping through my phone or my computer to look at photos of the past. With that, it brings back a flood of memories. And some of my favorite memories over the past few years have been the first toast with residents in their new home as a brand new building opens, uh, gardening with residents. Uh, there's a picture of a Veterans Day ceremony with my children behind standing next to the residents. These memories really demonstrate how we are alongside our residents, serving them every day. Our 75 years began with the vision and dedication of our founders who wanted to serve others. Our history of service actually started more than 75 years ago with Harriet Walker's family in 1876 when she led a team of people in serving young mothers and those needing health care. It was 75 years ago that we began the sole focus of serving seniors with the creation of the Walker Methodist Health Center on Bryant Avenue. Our team members amaze me with their dedication, their empathy, and their hearts for our residents. I remember watching uh, one of our nurses sit bedside by a resident and say, I'm not going to let your loved one be alone. I'm not going to let your loved one feel pain. Um, and I'm not going to lo let your loved one be lonely. We're going to stay here, but we need you to go home and have rest so that you can come back and do this again later. But let us take up the torch while you need to go and get some much needed rest. We remind them on a regular basis that we have three shifts and an army full of people trying to do what you're doing by yourself. And so I love watching my staff do this. This is where we shine and it's a real service that we can give to our community. Every day I get to see compassion play out at work. Walker has been fortunate to be able to serve older adults for the past 75 years. And although compassion looks different this year, it is amazing to see the magic that happens. One of the things I love about Walker is just our sense of community. And I think as we you know, continue to work through our 75 years, it has really afforded us the opportunity to really make a difference and enhance the lives of our residents. Um, we want um, people to feel proud to live here and we want people to be proud to work here. And so we engage with our staff um, on a regular basis about how we can be those servant leaders and how we can truly make this a place where people are proud to be. Because um, we, we have the honor of serving residents at this time in their life where they have earned all of our respect and we get to honor them and serve them in the capacity when I feel like they need us the most. And so as we navigate through this, you know, it's, we want a vibrant community. We want people to have fun. We want there to be joy. Um, and although it has looked different and we maybe have had to dig deeper in different ways, it has been beautiful to see where that comes out in different ways, whether it's creative ways from staff or whether it's the one-on-one -on -one touches that people have where you'll get calls from the resident family just saying, you know, life is really hard right now, but I just have to tell you how amazing your staff are. And that's what what gets us through the day and reminds us of why we do the work that we do. Our vision is being the best place to live and work. And that is dependent on all of our team members. And that's dependent on delivering the care and the services we do every single day with our values in mind of respect, imagination, and collaboration. One of the stories that highlights that I think better than almost anything was when JC, who was a resident at the health center. And JC passed away a few years ago. And we had a memorial remembrance service here for JC. And his, some of his family members came in and many team members came to that memorial service. In came a uh, housekeeper, Darlene. 
she sat towards the back, but JC's niece noticed Darlene when she came in and she stopped and wanted to specifically thank Darlene. And she said, Darlene, thank you for keeping my dad's room clean. Thank you for caring for him and becoming part of our family. And then she told the story that Darlene on Fridays would bring in barbecue for JC. And that story to me really tells a story of what Walker Methodist is all about. It's living our values that are rooted in our faith-based tradition and, and enhancing the lives of other people. And I just wanna thank each one of our team members for what they do in contributing to that, um, that mission. So thank you very much. Thank you.